Hi, my name is Gavin Jennings and today we'll be doing a reverse shoulder replacement using the Equinox Navigated Shoulder System. And here you can see the patient's radiographs. The illustration for the procedure is exactly the same. The only extra tray for the navigation is this one. It's, uh, you can see we plan for a superior augment. Um, this uh, corrects the angulation and it also allows us to preserve bone. And we figured that uh, with a standard base plate, we'd need to remove at least four millimeters of inferior bone to get uh, decent contact with the back of the base plate. And what we will hopefully end up with, to rotate it with good contact, uh, good reasonable, good superior tilt, and uh, greater low hang, and uh, adequate bone stop for good fixation and there's no perforation front or back with the peg as you can see here. In terms of the initial setup we need to ensure that the navigation screen and sensor has an unobscured view of the sensor which we'll subsequently place in the coracoid of the patient. Here we've got a sterile drape over the screen so I can touch that if necessary. And now you can see we're using the navigation to help us insert the guide wire, not only with the correct entry point, um, but also in the correct version and tilt. Now after having ruined the glenoid, we're using the navigation again to help us uh, drill the central peg hole in exactly the desired orientation. This is probably the most useful part of the navigation because we're using uh, it to give us real-time uh, information on exactly where we're drilling into the bone as we go and we can make adjustments to get maximum screw length for fixation of the glenoid.